This is a Media Home Entertainment VHS. I do also have the Video Treasures print of this movie as well, but I could not resist picking up this, uh, this really cool Media Home Entertainment print as well. And this is part of the family genre. So yeah, even though, even though I do already have the Video Treasures print, I could not resist picking up this, uh, this, uh, media, this really cool Media Home Entertainment VHS. Uh, the film is from 1979, and this is a 1984 Media Home Entertainment VHS. Of course, it's one, and it's one of the ones that opens from the bottom. See, this one's got the tan lid on it. And the label actually says 1986 on it, so this is actually a 1986 reprint. Looks like there's got a, looks like it has a sticker underneath the uh, end label, but I doubt there's a print date on it. And there's no print date anywhere else on this tape. So yeah. All right. Let's give me one second while I put this tape back in the case. Uh, this film, the film itself is from 1982, and this is a 1987 MCA home video VHS. And I believe there is also a, uh, a Good Times print of this movie as well. But this is, but this is an MCA home video release. Recorded on a scotch tape. And printed in the 44th week of 1989. So this is actually a 1989 reprint. And this tape, I did check the closing. This tape was at the end when I got it. And I checked the closing. And this tape does have a white screen death at the end of it. Okay, the next two tapes I got are uh, screener copy tapes. <laughs>
pre-order date September 25th, 2001. Street date October 23rd, 2001. For mature audiences, for, for mature audiences, contains graphic violence and adult situations. Even says for mature audiences on the uh, label as well. Two print dates on this tape. June 30th, 2001 and July 13th, 2001. And the number on the tape is 5. This is one of the Warner Brothers movies that was co-produced by Regency Enterprises. As you can see, uh, the original owner, the, the original pers people that used to own this tape, uh, wrote uh, the title of the movie plus the two uh, actors. See, they wrote, yeah, yeah, they wrote the uh, the actual title of the movie plus the two uh, the t the two actors listed on the front cover on the actual tape label. Since the tape just uses the uh, the standard Warner Home Video screen copy label. So that's pretty cool. They uh, did that. Yeah, I, I, I might have said this before already, but I never understood why these uh, these Warner Home Video uh, screen copy tapes don't actually say the name of the movie. They just say uh, Warner Home Video screening copy. So it's like it's like how would unless so it's like unless you unless you looked at the uh, print date info, like how how would you know like like yeah like how would you know what movie this is unless you like read the uh, the print date info? That's yeah that's that's so weird that they uh, that they uh, did it like that. <laughs> but yep, and. Print date is October eighth, nineteen ninety six, and it says O. Says O C right there. So yeah. All right, so just gotta put these on. All right, now on to 
Now onto some other really good tapes that I got. <laughs> Yeah, this is the this is the RCA Columbia Pictures home video print of this film. I do have a uh, Columbia Tricer home video reprint VHS of this movie, but when I saw this uh, RCA Columbia Pictures home video uh, print with the uh, with the side opening uh, box, I could not resist passing this up, especially since. Uh, Especially since my VHS of uh, the Jolson story has is in this kind of case, so see, I had see, I could not resist uh, picking this up. See, I I had to get this print to uh, make it match with my uh, VHS of the Jolson story, and yet, and by the way, this is the sequel to the Jolson story for those who are wondering. So, yeah, so so when I saw this print, I could not pass it up. So now I have both the Jolson story and Jolson sings again in the uh, in the uh, side opening uh, uh, box. So that's really cool. See so yep, it and 1949 film renewed in 1976. And a lot of the uh, rest of the VHS tapes you're about to like see have this uh, this person's name written on it on these uh, these little labels here. So I guess so. All these VHS tapes I'm about to show uh, all came from this one person's uh, collection, which is pretty cool. Yep, and. This is a 1987 VHS. And... I don't know if you can really... You probably can't really tell, but... It looks like it does have a uh, sticker underneath the uh, sticker label. So, I think we can all, I think we can all, I think most, I think we all know what this will probably have at the end. And, printed on the 14th week of 1987. This is a Paramount tape. See, it's got that same person's name on the back. This is a 1953 film, and the actual date of the VHS is uh, covered up by the label, so I can't, so I can't see where year this tape is from. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother taking the labels off the backs of these because uh, I don't want to possibly uh, ruin the uh, 
because it might rip the uh, the boxes. See, I'm just going to keep the labels on these. But this is a 19 but this is a 1993 printing. As you can see because it says 1993 right there. Yep, and printed on the 13th week of 1993. And here's the and here's the barcode on this tape. See, it has this it has this type of barcode. So I think we can all guess what this will probably have at the end. But yeah. Alright, so let me just uh, get this back in. Okay. Next, this next one is a Warner Brothers tape. And I'm just gonna move back a little bit. Again, it's the same person's name on the back. 1953 film, renewed in 1981. And this is a 1996 Warner Home Video VHS. And it does have the recycling, the recyclable logo on it, which you guys can see. Yep, and even though on the case it has the uh, Boring Shield Warner Home Video logo, but however, the tape itself still has the Cheesy Shield logo on it, huh? as you can see. So, yeah, my assumption is this will probably still have the uh, Cheesy Shield logo at the uh, beginning of the tape. Huh? Yep, and print date is February 8th, 1996, and the number of the tape is 2. It's got WHV right there. Okay. I'll just wait for that, that vehicle to finish passing by. Alright, and the next beach as I got is a two tape set, and this is from Fo and this is a two tape set released by Fox Video. So yeah, this and yes, this movie, this movie was directed by uh, the late Robert Wise, who also directed *Sound of Music*, which was another uh, musical that had Julie Andrews. He also directed some other movies like uh, *The Andromeda Strain*, uh, *Sand Pebbles*, uh, the the original *Haunting*, uh, the original *Day the Earth Stood Still*, and a bunch of other popular movies. And I think he, I believe he directed West Side Story too. But yeah.
Um, this film is from 1968, and I know this is a 1993 VHS because the, uh, the, the, the labels on the tape say 1993 on it, and includes a, includes a special introduction by Julie Andrews and Robert Wise, rare behind-the-scenes footage in the original theatrical trailer. The complete, and it says... The complete roadshow version of Star was transferred from its original 70mm elements under the supervision of director Robert Wise. So that's interesting. Yep, as you can see it it says 1990 tapes themselves say 1993 on it. Now here's Act 1. And here's Act 2. And... Both tapes were printed on the 44th week of 1993. And you see they both have this kind of barcode, so... I think we can all guess what... Both these tapes will probably have at the end. So, yeah. All right. So. Alright, so, and the last VHS I got is a, uh, is a clamshell tape, and this is, a, this is an MGM tape, and this is, this is a, uh, MGM Diamond Jubilee Collection VHS. Nineteen forty three film renewed in nineteen seventy, and this is a nineteen eighty six VHS. And this tape is a reprint because uh, it has no end label on it, and it's got those dark red printings, the MGM hologram sticker, and it has that uh, that barcode sticker. So obviously this is a uh, probably late '80s or maybe like early '90s uh, reprint tape, which unfortunately, which does mean this will probably, which does unfortunately mean this will not have any black screen death at the end since it's a later reprint but oh well still 
Still, still cool to have. Still cool to have yet another Diamond Jubilee collection tape in my collection. Alright. Alright, I just moved back inside for this part. Is the, uh, the sun was getting way too bright and obnoxious out there. But anyway. Alright, here are the CDs I got this week. This CD is still uh, factory sealed, so I'll open. I'll, I will uh, open this up uh, later on after I uh, stop. After I finish recording this. Pretty interest, pretty cool uh, disc design on this uh, CD, and the booklet to this is actually pretty cool because when you flip through it, it has like little info on every uh, mo on every uh, Schwarzenegger movie featured on this uh, CD here. Like it talks about the year. Uh, Mentions what production company released it, who directed it. Uh, talks about the... Says who composed the music. And just a bunch of other like little info. So yeah, there's the track listing. And then... Yeah, it just lists as the, as the like production details on every, on every movie featured on this... Uh, this sort of uh, soundtrack of these. <laughs> and they're and they're listed in order of uh, how they appear on, on how they appear on the actual uh, CD, <laughs> which is pretty which is pretty cool. And it's even got a bit of a uh, Latin to English translation for the uh, the Riders of Doom track from Conan the Barbarian. So yeah, and 
Here's the inside artwork, which it mentions the cover info and has some more info on each track, uh, like who it was conducted by and uh, the the record label that uh, licensed the music. So yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, C CD uh, soundtrack here. All right. So. Continuing on. Yep, this does have uh, the Wall Lifetime Music Guarantee on it. Hang on a second. I'm just gonna turn the fan on. Oh, there we go. Let's keep this light on. All right, all right. So, continuing on. That oh, feels much better. And book, the booklet on this one is pretty cool as well. Is it? It folds open, and as you can see, the front cover beco becomes a basically one basically, basically becomes a little uh, mini poster. <laughs> yeah, because this part. So this part right here is the front, the front cover, and one of these parts is the uh, the the back the back part of it. 
and it just it folds open to create this nice uh, poster. So yeah, how cool is that? And the back it just has uh, all the song lyrics and a bunch of info and so yeah, so yeah, really, really, really cool. All right. Give me one second here while I try to fix this. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Got three more CDs left. This one comes on a clear disc. And... track listing and it has like a little I guess sort of business reply mail-in thing from Mo from Motown Records <laughs> and I'm just now I'm just now realizing uh, the front the front cover kind of as you can see kind of continues on to the back cover Makes like a little uh, mural when you fold it open. So that's pretty nice. Yep, another 16 most requested songs release. This is now my this is now my fourth 16 most requested songs CD I have. The other three are Andy Williams, Billie Holiday, and Engelbert Humperdinck. And now I have the one for Johnny Mathis as well.
is a 1986 Columbia Records release. <laughs> this compact disc consists of previously released material. Once again, this one comes on our clear disc. Alright, and here's the last CD that I got. Yep, I found another Now CD for my collection. This is Now, this is Now That's Why I Come Music Volume 16. Yep, and on the back, it's got an ad for Now That's Why I Call Music Volumes 1 through 15, plus uh, Now That's Why I Call Christmas Volumes 1 and 2, and the first Now That's Why I Call Music DVD. So, yep, and here's the inside artwork.
All right. That's it for this update video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace. <laughs>